Oh, well. Well, hello there, beautiful. How are you doing today? Yeah. Hmm. What is up guys, today I look so beautiful in my new hat, I thought I need to make me a tumbler to match it. So I went ahead and based it. And if you remember this color right here is from this beach video. I did the sand with this color. It is just something that I just happen to have called Vanilla Molito Premium. <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. Graffiti paint. Wow, I got stuff all over my hands already. So let's get started. To do my leopard prints, I have just some regular gold vinyl and to give it some furry texture and to give it something, cause I'm gonna paint on it too. Cause the hat has these dots on dots. So I figured I'd use gold and then I guess paint that with a paint pen, with a brown paint pen, maybe a little black in there, jazz it up a little bit. I think that'll be Perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand. We're gonna sand one way and then sand the other way. Don't sand too hard, nothing crazy. I'm being a little rough here. Just get a little textury looking. You remember like we did in the dragon video right here. I gave his scales some texture, just to give him some character, you know? Give him a story. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna have all this cut out anyway. I've got a little, my uh, cricket mat has a little, that'll be fine. Listen, you're gonna have leopard prints everywhere and if you want to get the leopard print stencil that I made I drew it on my uh, Photoshop and I converted it to a PNG and I think for this I made it the size like what is it like eight by nine or something I don't know it doesn't matter just make it as big as you want I made two of them so that I can just have as many as I want I don't like to run out and have to go print more so if you want that file the link is in the description to my website where you can go grab that file and let's go cut this out okay now you see I have beautiful things happening here I have lots of furry texture of scratches from the scratch pad and that is gonna look amazing hey hey focus that's gonna look Awesome. Now we're gonna take these two right here. I got a brown and a black. I'm gonna dab them all over the place just to try to replicate that. Listen, I'm not trying to do exactly, just something similar to give the illusion that that looks the same. All right, so we'll do this one right here, just like, and this one right here, why not, while we're at it. So it's wet, I'm gonna switch to the brown, get a little pump. I just like how that mixes like that. I think that's amazing. Look at that. That's gonna be so cool when you get that put on the tumbler. It's gonna look just like that hat. That is so sweet. I can't believe how easy this is, to be honest with you. You could put these on one by one. I might try to transfer with transfer paper, but I don't know. We'll do a test and see if it pulls it off. If it pulls off, I'll just do it by hand. You know what I'm saying? Oh, how crazy is that? You can use paint pens on vinyl and sand it. It's like, what? That's crazy. I know. Use your imagination. I'm just being really messy and random. I'm, I'm not really even thinking about it. I'm just dotting it somewhere, do a scribble, boom. All right, that's enough of that. You get the idea. All right, we got them all done. And look how fantastic this looks. This is ridiculous. Look how cool that looks. It looks just like the hat. Oh, man. I got to take out the little holes in the middle of some, but wow, that was so easy. Just have to wait patiently for it to dry. And that's pretty too. You know, you can't really do anything with that, I don't guess. I mean, you probably could use it Stick it on something and spray something through it. I might do that. I don't know. Maybe play with it. Wow. Look at that. That looks just like those spots on the hat. Wow. I'm so excited. Let's keep going. So now I just got some transfer tape. I'm going to transfer my image. And transfer my vinyl on there. And we will be looking beautiful. Walk around with it, my tumbler and my hat that matches. My goodness, I'm gonna be smoking. All right, I'm just gonna sit this mug down where I want it. Doesn't really matter. And then we'll roll it onto the sides. Probably the wrong way to do it. 
but I don't care. Sticks. And then I'm going to, oh, hey, there you are. Smooth it down all the way around. So I, I left a little bit. It will come over the bottom here. I might take some of those off or I might wrap them around. I don't know. You asked too many questions. I'm just kidding. All right. And then uh, it did take some of the paint. Out. Oh, man, I didn't wait for it to dry long enough, I guess. If that bothers you, whatever, just touch it up. It doesn't bother me because it adds to the, the look I'm going for. Listen, if you are one of those people that make sure everything is perfect, then you're not living in a real world because literally nothing in life in this world is absolutely perfect. So to me, that is perfectly imperfect and it perfectly replicates the hat that I was going for. Wow. That's going to be sick. Yeah, maybe I got the little base color off a little bit, but hey, you're being too picky. Who cares? I use what I got. I'm not trying to go out and buy something new. I'm going to make a tumbler. I'm just going to go for it. That's what you should do. Don't overthink it. There's something you want to do. Just start doing it. So I'm going to fill in this area with these guys right here. I could have made it go all around. I didn't want to because I wanted to make sure I got it where I wanted to on the back end because, you know, you have them overlap. Some people put all these on by hand, which I don't know, not really necessary. So it won't hurt you if you put a few on by hand. That way you get it exactly right. There's no seam and it looks beautiful. That is beautiful. When I put a pooksy on that mug, it's going to be crazy. Now that is done and I'm going to spray this with the Mate clear, eh? If you don't know how to use this, as usual, there's a video right here to teach you all the tips and tricks, everything you ever thought you ever didn't want to know about it. It's going to show you. So <laughs> go watch that and let's epoxy this and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm.